consistent, Lieutenant. Ten salvos and you've missed every time. Let's have those horses, Harper. <clears throat> uh, please, sir. One last salvo. Tell you the truth, Lieutenant. I'm dirty, deaf and damned if I want to see another rocket. Very well. One last salvo. But if you miss, we'll have your horses. Come on, Pat. Sir! Where are you going, sir? Where I can get a bit of peace. The barn. Rocket troop! Reload! Right. Show the flag, Pat. Sergeant I met at Badahoff, Billy Smith. He used to be based at Shorncliffe Camp where they made these Congreve rockets. Mm -hmm. Well, he said they're grand going away from you. But the right devil's coming at you. <laughs> Rocket troop, prepare to fire! Raider, come back! Light, fuses! Stand aside! Miss Teresa. <laughs> Bye, Miss Teresa. <laughs> Tell Gilliand he's got a reprieve on the Rockies and he can keep his horses. Sir. I missed you. How's our daughter? How's Antonia? Free spirit. Like her mother. <laughs> what, what do you notice first about her? Her eyes. She sees everything. She'll be sharpshooter. Thank you. Really, my lord, this fellow Sharp is almost five minutes late. Not to mention his bad manners this morning. I really must insist that you speak to him. What? Oh, I beg your pardon, Colonel. Ned and I are engrossed in your book. Practical instructions to the young officer in the art of warfare, with special reference to the engagements now proceeding in Spain. My congratulations, Colonel. Given that you wrote this work before your arrival in Spain, it shows remarkable confidence, what? Oh, absolutely. Amazing, Sir Augustus. Yes, well, I very much appreciate your kind words, my lord. But my wife weighs heavily on my mind, sir. <clears throat> my lord. Buenas tardes, my lord. Good day, madam. Allow me to present Colonel Sir Augustus Farthingdale, His Majesty's military representative in Lisbon. Colonel Commandante Moreno, commander of the Spanish guerrillas across the border. She is to take part in the operation we propose. And Captain Sharp of the 95th. Here your servant, ma'am. Captain Sharp and I have met. You're late, sir, and I cannot abide unpunctuality. I'm sorry I'm late, my lord. The inspection of the rocket battery ran to a full hour, sir. I am not happy you did not give me my horses, Sharp. You think there may be something in these rockets, Sharp? Not as to accuracy, sir. But they play merry hell with the morale of poorly led men, sir. The sound is shocking. Scared you, did they? I was terrified, sir. <laughs> 